All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be a review of this knife, and this is the Tacre T01. And if you enjoy videos on knives like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and select all so you know when I post new videos. Check out my other social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Knife Thoughts and my website, knifethoughts.com, where I post articles on knives like this and knife related topics. But let's get right into this knife. So I saw this knife posted, I think, on Reddit and thought that it looked like a really cool design, but I had never heard of this company, Tacre. So, you know, I wasn't sure uh, you know, anything about it really, but I went and looked and it looked to me like they had, you know, all their own, you know, unique designs. They only have a few different knives and I think that I might have all of their knives actually. Uh, they have this knife, then they have a folding kitchen knife and they have a frame lock also. But I really enjoy what you might call a dagger style or spear point, uh, whatever you call this type of blade, I enjoy them just aesthetically. I think that they look good. And, you know, I've got a couple different similar knives. Here's a, a very inexpensive, this is a Rough Rider, then, you know, kind of a similar aesthetic on the Protect Godfather, and even into something like a Microtech Ultratech with the double edged blade. So I really like the look of a dagger style grind, but this knife had some other things that really appealed to me. So the main of those being this style of guard. So uh, there are a lot of this type of knife, these dagger style knives that have what might be called like a stiletto style guard where this guard here would actually be turned downward and then this one would be turned upward. And what that does is it negates the ability for the knife to be able to be waved open. So what I mean by that is, you know, pocket catched. So when you pull the knife out of your pocket, if this was turned here the other way, it makes it so that that guard doesn't catch on your pocket and doesn't open. And I always feel like it's such a missed opportunity when knives are designed that way. I mean, I understand that it's traditional and I appreciate traditional, you know, design, but I think on a modern knife like this, it's a nice feature, particularly on a knife that, you know, this style of blade is certainly something that you see on tactical knives. I think that it's a nice feature to be able to wave the knife open. And I, looking at this knife, I thought that you probably could, and it turns out you can, and it waves very well. So you can see why that would be here. When, th when this knife is closed, it's pretty thin, for being or slender for being such a long knife. And this guard here sticks out a good bit. So you can very easily catch that guard on your pocket as you're pulling the knife out and open it up. So the wave feature works very well on this. You also do get a really solid guard when you're holding the knife, but then it also can be flipped. So the back guard there, you can flip and the flipping works really well. You definitely have to do a light switch style flip because the guard is you know, sitting right up above the pivot there, uh, but it flips really, really nicely. It's very, very smooth. It came smooth from Amazon where I bought this knife. I bought this knife on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description, um, but it also wasn't an expensive knife, about $50 from Amazon. Then another thing that I found out, and this is partly because, you know, I hadn't been into front flippers. It just wasn't something that, that I cared about for a long time, but I have started using front flippers a little bit. And this guard can also be basically front flipped with your thumb. So you can get here and flip it open. And that works pretty well also. You can even also just kind of slow roll that open. So there's a lot of opening methods for this knife and that's something that I appreciate having uh, multiple different opening methods. So I like that a lot and the action is done well. As you can see here, it is very smooth. It drops closed. It does have a ball bearing pivot and locks up nice and solid. No blade play side to side, even when unlocked, very, very solid and no play forward and back. And then it's also very well centered. It might be ever so slightly towards the non-clip side, but it is definitely, you know, good enough for me. 
The other thing about this knife that I like is that it is so big. So if you're gonna have a dagger style knife like this, you might as well go big. And that's true also for another knife that I really like, the Godfather. And I'll show you a comparison size wise between these two. You can see there's a lot of similarity. Now the Godfather has more of what you might call a bayonet grind and has a little bit of a different handle shape, but very similar in their styling. So if you like the styling of the Protect Godfather, then I think you will probably like the styling of this Takray T01. Um, it is a big knife, you know, I'll compare it to uh, another big knife here, two big knives that I have. Here is a Spyderco Police 4 Lightweight, a very big knife, and you can see, you know, the Takray about the same length blade, a little shorter, but about the same, and, uh, you know, a little shorter handle, handle, but definitely in the same range. And then here is a ZT0561, move these up a little bit here, and you can see that the Takray is, again, kind of in that same size range. It is a big knife. It is not what a lot of people would consider to be an EDC size knife, but for me, I think that it is a great size knife to carry as a modern knife. And that's because I often, pretty much always, carry a traditional knife for a smaller knife. So I like to have a little bit of a bigger modern knife, but as bigger modern knives go, I think that this one carries really well. And that's because it is so slender. So you can see that it has a very slender handle, compare it to, uh, again here, the Ultratech, maybe if I can find it. You can see that the Takray is actually about the same, maybe slightly thinner at its thinnest point. It, you know, gets about the same thickness, but it's a very slender knife. Now, of course the blade, you know, also sticks out versus the hand or outside of the handle, whereas it doesn't on the Ultratech. But you can see that for being a pretty big knife, a pretty long knife, it is pretty slender. And then it also has a nice deep carry clip. So very little, if any, of this handle is going to stick out of your pocket. So you don't have to worry about, you know, prying eyes if you work in an environment where <laughs> they wouldn't like you to have a big, scary looking knife like this. You will, you know, have most of the knife, if not all of it, hidden in your pocket. And then I also like you know, this grip kind of machining that they have on the handle. It's very unique. It almost reminds me of like an alligator scale. Uh, I haven't really seen anything else exactly like it, but it both, I think, adds some grip to this pretty slender handle and also looks good. Now, the quality of this knife beyond the action, which I talked about there, uh, earlier is really good. I was really impressed by this knife when I got it. Um, first of all, again, I'll mention that the action is really nice. The centering is good. The lockup is great. I'll show you the lockup here so you can see it locks up right where you want it, about 40%, something like that, very solidly. And the grind is really impressive. So for being a $50 knife, this grind is very even. So you can see really pretty even side to side and this line here that bisects the two grinds it pretty much comes straight to the tip there on both sides so i was really impressed by the grind um you know of course being a double-edged knife it is not the thinnest knife out there but i think you know for being a double-edged knife it is ground thin enough it certainly will cut I have used this knife for, you know, just normal EDC stuff, and it worked really well. So I was really impressed by this knife, so much so that I, um, you know, decided to check out more of Takray's knives and have been really impressed, you know, with those also. But I really like this knife because I do enjoy the dagger aesthetic. I think that it's a very classic, you know, Western style knife aesthetic, and I think that they did it really well in this Takray T01. Now this knife is made overseas, but probably you should expect that considering the fact that it is fifty dollars uh, from Amazon. So it's a it's a budget friendly knife, and on the kind of one side of this that I think a lot of knife enthusiasts wouldn't like is that the blade steel is four forty C. So that's a steel that's really not used very often anymore. It was a steel that was used a lot for a long time. But it has definitely been kind of left by the wayside. And 
Uh, I think that they probably could have gone for VG10, which is what they use in some of their other knives, what Tacre uses in some of their other knives, without increasing the price too much. I think that this knife would probably sell better at $60, something like that, with a VG10 blade versus $50 with a 440C blade. Now, I don't know how much it would actually add to the production cost of this knife to change it to VG10, but I can't think that it would be too much. You know, I can't imagine it would be a whole lot more than $10. And I think that, you know, a lot of people who are knife enthusiasts, you know, I'm not necessarily this way, I don't care that this is 440C, but a, a lot of people would scoff at that, would not buy it purely because it's 440C. I mean, now I see people kind of saying that about M390. Uh, before that it was S30V and before that it was D2. So um, 440C has been kind of left in the dust as steels go. Uh, it's a fine steel, you know, it's not, not a terrible steel, but I think that they would sell more of these at a slightly higher price with a better or more modern steel, I should say. But I really like this knife. I have carried it a lot. Um, it is a very well done modern folding knife rendition of a traditional dagger. So this is the Tacre T01. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also leave any comments you have. I'd love to hear what you think about this knife and Tacre in general. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.